Okay, so here we have our scene so far. Uh, we've got we started blocking in some of the details on the first building. We've made a an archway to hold the door, and we should have made the door. Okay, so we're going to start adding in some details onto this door now. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll set my edges to show uh, just the door on its own. So in order to do that, you go view show sorry isolate select and then view selected tick that on everything else should disappear okay so we're just working on this okay so before we go on uh we're going to delete the history for the door so if we go edit delete by type and then choose history and we want to freeze the transformations as well so modify and then freeze transformations <coughs> okay, so um, what we'll do first is going to use a tool called Split Polygon Tool. <coughs> so we edit mesh. Uh, you should see it here. Okay, so what that's going to allow us to do is we're going to draw in uh, the missing polygons. These vertex here don't join, so we're going to make them join up. Uh, so you'll get a prompt as soon as you go into it click drag on the next edge to finish press enter so every time we click and drag we'll put a point down click and drag put the next point down push enter and that'll put in the the new edge so what we've done there is we've actually made a uh, new polygon and we're going to keep doing that until up near the top okay so uh, edit mesh and split polygon okay so you want to click and drag it until it reaches that point and then do the same on the other side as well. Okay, so I'm I'm actually clicking and dragging further. It won't allow me to go any higher. And then just push enter to end it. Okay. Alright, so before we go on, uh, we're going to put in an edge loop. It's just going to run. It's a little bit up this way. Okay, and um, we're going to put one in on the other side as well. Right. Okay, so with those two edge loops in, we're just going to run down the end of the object. This is going to help us if we end up smoothing it or if we want to put in more detail. Uh, so we're going to go edit mesh and we're going to split polygon to join these lines up together and then same on the other side okay right. I'm just going to repeat the steps for these two middle bits as well so we want this vertex here to run right down the middle of the door uh, so edit mesh insert edge loop so we'll roughly put these in you're seeing two lines at the minute because on the other side of the object uh, there's an edge loop being inserted as well, but we're going to clean that up in a second. And then just same again. So it don't have to be too accurate. As soon as you finish the tool, remember, always try and go back to this red arrow. Because the annoying thing is that that tool will normally stay on. Uh, so back in the edit mesh, I'm going to split these last two polygons. And remember G, push G in your keyboard, it'll give the last tool you used, which was the split polygon very quick especially if you're using the same tool over and over again and uh, what we're going to do now is just going to kind of level these up a bit just sitting a bit wonky at the minute so we can do it in vertex mode you can do it in edge mode it's up to you I'm just going to grab these two vertex so hold down your right click in the vertex mode we'll click and then hold shift to select your next one and we're going to use a scale tool. So we can't scale vertex, but we can scale the distance between them. Okay, and we're going to do the same with these ones. So we'll just hold and shift to select them all. We're going to scale them out a bit. Just we want to get a bit more of a curve running along these. And we'll do the same for the bottom two. Okay, so hold and shift again. And we'll just scale out the distance a bit. 
So if you want to be very precise, if we want to grab the, this bottom one, go to the move tool, we can just snap the points. So I only want to blue, use it, move it in the Z axis, which is the blue arrow. If I click and drag, you'll notice it only lets me snap into the nearest points. So we want to snap it into this one up here. So after you move it, you just move your mouse up towards this one. This vertex, it'll snap it on. And let's do the same on the other side. So if you're modeling, uh, if you really want to model fully realistic stuff, uh, snap the points, a really handy tool. Okay, and we're going to shift these ones out a little bit. So remember, turn off your snap the points. It'll tr keep trying to make you snap in. And we'll move this one out a tiny bit. Okay, alright. And I'm just going to snap the points to the bottom one as well. Just make sure everything's in line. Okay, so it's a really good tool, but it's uh, it can be very annoying if you don't remember to turn it off like I just did uh, you'll end up with all your points snapping all over the place right so we don't need the back of the door so I'm just going to select these faces and just get rid of them it's causing a bit of a mess right back in the object mode and we're going to delete the history again so edit delete by type history modify freeze transformations okay good habit Every so often to remember delete your history as much as you can because Maya keeps a track of everything that's happened and uh, it can get very bogged down. So if you imagine all the little moves we did, the other vertex, Maya remembered every one of them. So after a while if you're modeling for a couple of hours you'll notice your system will start slowing down a lot. Right, so we're gonna we'll put like a little window on the top of this section here. So on my model I noticed the this real vertex here a bit high so I'm going to do this I'm going to go into vertex mode I want to click and drag a box over them the reason I click and drag a box is so I can get the ones in behind so these two I'm just going to shift these down a tiny bit again I left snap the points on uh, so let's make sure it's turned off right okay so that looks a bit better so we're going to go into face mode, so hold down your right click, go into face mode, and we've already got the shape that we're going to use for the, uh, the window. So that's selected, and what we want to do next is we'll go edit mesh and extrude. So how do you think as soon as you extrude? you'll notice you get this option this has your control options and your scale options I just find it's handier to go straight to the scale tool and um, we'll start bringing that out a tiny bit okay that's how it looks about right so from there if you tap W on the keyboard or go over to the move tool I'm going to pull it out a tiny bit in this angle because we want this uh, this window to come out a little bit um, edit mesh, extrude again. This time we go straight to the scale tool, so R on the keyboard, or over here on the panel. And we're going to scale, just back in a tiny bit. So we'll grab the move tool and nudge it in a tiny bit. Right. So one more extrusion, one main one. Uh, edit mesh, extrude again straight to the move tool, so W on the keyboard and using the x-axis we're going to pull it back in ok so we've got our basic window shape uh, what I want to do now is um, I want to actually extrude it again and bring it out so it's almost going to come at a slight angle so we'll just tap F on the keyboard so same tools again, edit mesh, extrude. And I'm going to scale this one in a bit. Straight away, I want you to go to your move tool, pull it out. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna extrude again. Remember, G on your keyboard is the handy way to do it. It's the last tool we used. Or edit mesh, extrude again. And we're gonna do around the same. Just again. Okay, so we got so one note. And we're gonna pull it out again. So we got kind of we've got like a bit of a curved glass effect. Um, looks like it's come out a bit too much. There we go. Okay, so nice bit of detail for that section. Um, and what we're going to do next is going to add in some panels here. Okay, so I uh, just got a quick reference image. This is kind of the effect that we're going to go for. Um, so just small bit of detail. We're going to add in a couple of quick extrusions. And uh, it's just it'll make your door look a bit more realistic. Anything else we can achieve with textures, but we're gonna model this bit. All right. Uh, so we need some edge loops. Okay. So edit mesh, insert edge loop. Uh, we're gonna put one about here, one about there. And so we'll have a long panel, and we'll have a bit of a shorter panel at the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we'll put on some new edge lips. Unfortunately I can't use the ones that we had already. Don't really look uh, wide enough. But we can use these ones here. Okay, so these ones will be okay. So just pin in two new edge lips. Remember, go on to the red arrow straight away, click on a bit of space. Because that, that, that tool will just stay on and it gets really, really frustrating. Reference image again. Uh, we want to take the panel back a tiny bit first. It's going to give us this little lip. And then we're going to extrude it, scale it in, and then extrude it again. So w when you get your reference image, it's best to break stuff down piece by piece try and figure it out in your head okay so uh, I'm just going to extrude this backwards edit mesh extrude and we're going to use the move tool just to dent it in a tiny bit okay and so from there edit mesh extrude again a little bit and we're just going to shift them back into place so I'll we'll take these two separate from those two there we go shift them over a tiny bit and do the same on this side So as you can see here, we've got it extruded back in a bit, so it makes a tiny little dent. And pull out a tiny bit more. Okay, so we'll pull the rest out the same distance. Again, this is just using just using your eye uh, to kind of figure out where everything should be sitting. Um, so. So these ones here are sitting way too high. Let's shift them down. It's gonna look better. Notice the scale was too in a bit more. Okay, so these ones seem to be sitting okay. You can just keep moving them around until you're happy. Um, so we're going to grab these. Alright, to grab all of them again. And we're going to edit mesh, extrude them 
take them out a tiny bit. Okay. So just that quick bit of detail that we've added in. <coughs> 